Hello and welcome to this video about computing square roots. We are going to use the Babylonian method to compute the square root of a number in JavaScript. So if we have a number s and we want to calculate the square root, we should keep in mind that this is an estimation method. So if x is our estimation of the square root of s, then there will always be an error because x will never be exactly the square root of s. So um, there will always be the case that x plus the error e squared equals s, all right? This is an iterative method, which means that in every iteration the error e should get smaller and smaller, while our estimation x will get closer and closer um, to the real square root of s, okay? So the main idea is that this algorithm ensures that our estimation x will always be an overestimation to the square root of s, okay? And s divided by x will always be an underestimation of the square root, okay? So in every iteration, when we calculate our new x, our new estimation, this new estimation will just be the average between the overestimation and the underestimation. So our new estimation is just the point in between the overestimation and the underestimation, okay? And this interval will get smaller and smaller with every iteration, and therefore x will get closer and closer to the real square root of s, okay? And then we are, in every iteration, we're going to to calculate x squared and we are comparing x squared with s and if the difference between x squared and s is small enough we say okay we are done we are close enough to the square root and we are going to return the value of x. Alright so we're gonna have a function s squared t takes a parameter of s and eventually we're going to write line S squared t of, for example, 4, which should yield a value close to 2, all right? So, in this function, <coughs> uh, as it is an iterative algorithm, I want to have an, an iter function, okay? Remember, this is a course on, on recursion, so we, we gotta do this recursively, all right? But, um, as I said in one of my videos, you can also implement iteration using recursion. So, we're going to have an iter function here. Um, it gets an estimation. And here is where, where all this magic happens. And in the end, we're going to return iter with the first estimation. Okay, the first estimation, well, I choose s to be the first estimation for the square root of s. So, if I assume that s is greater than 1, then this estimation s will always be greater than the the real square root of s. So, so with that I'm sticking to the Wikipedia article, all right? Okay. So, the basic idea, so I, I want to I want to do this uh, or or I want to implement this function wise in a kind of abstract level. So, in the abstract level, I'm just going to say is is our estimation good enough okay if it is good enough we just uh, we can return the estimation okay because then we are done and if it is not good enough we're going to return uh, an improved version and we have one more iteration with the improved version, okay? So this is where the iteration and the recursion is going on. So we only have to do two things here. We're gonna have to implement the improved function and the is good enough function. Okay, actually this is wrong. It should be improve because we want to have a verb here, right? So Let's start with this, is good enough. So, um, what we are going to do here is we're going to compare the square of our estimation, okay, 
with the value s. Okay, so if um, math.power s2, so this is w w with this function we can square s, okay, then we subtract s, then we take the absolute value, okay, so abs, and if this is smaller than some, some epsilon, okay, we say, okay, this is uh, uh, the, the square root, our estimation is very close to the square root, so we re return true, otherwise we return false, okay. So what's our epsilon here? Well, we're just going to define it with, I don't know, point zero zero one, okay. Um, the smaller this epsilon is, the more accurate will be our results. Okay. So that's it for the is good enough function. And for the improve function, oops, function improve, improve the estimation. Yeah, I just said we're going to um, we're going to take the average between our estimation and s divided by the estimation, okay? So we're going to return s divided by oh, s plus s divided by the estimation, okay? divided by 2, okay? Actually we don't need the parentheses here, but uh, yeah, I, I like to have them here, so so it's more verbose what's what's going on verbose <laughs> okay so let's try it out I think this should work <laughs> let's have some fun okay it works so as we see here the the result is not accurate but it's it's pretty good um, let's try to take this even further okay we're we're not getting getting much closer here. Let's try it the other direction. Okay, you see, the higher this number is, the more in inaccurate the result gets. Okay, so let's try something else. Square root of two will be one point four. Okay, let's make it more accurate. All right. So here we are. This is our square root implementation. Finally, I want to say that there are also a couple of other algorithms available. For example, the digit by digit calculation, which is used in a lot of libraries and even hardware level as CPU instruction, even though it's slower than the Babylonian method. It is preferred because digit by digit calculation is a reproducible method, whereas in the Babylonian method there's lots of these floating point operations going on, like division and stuff, and so the solution is not reproducible in any machine or system. But actually it's a nice exercise for using recursion, and I hope you learned something today. So have fun, happy coding, and see you next time!